Hey everyone, it's Jonathan. I just want to get straight to the point about this Michael Brown incident. Let me tell you something, and I said this before. What we're doing out here is not helping. Us rioting, looting, burning down donut shops and stores and everything else, liquor stores, shenanigans, hair salon for the extensions, this is not helping. Us acting a fool out here because we pissed off at the police is not helping. I said this before and I said it again. Change is not going to come until we change it. You understand what I'm saying? This is not helping. Change isn't going to come until we change it. All we know how to do is march and ride and loot. This is not helping. What you guys are out here doing is not helping. And I hate to say this, but I'm going to tell you what you need to hear and pose into what you want to hear. All we know how to do is blame the police and white folks for our actions. That's all we know how to do is blame police and white folks. They mistreating us. They beating on us. Oh, slavery still exists. Oh, oh I'm sick of it. I'm sick of it. I'm not going to tell you and tell you we going to march. We going to do this. We going to do that. I'm going to tell you, damn it, let's change. Let's change as black people. When is this going to stop? When? How are our children supposed to grow up when we out here acting a stone fool? How are our kids supposed to grow up when we out here acting stupid? How? How? Even the book of Deuteronomy in chapter 2 verse 3, God said, We have toiled this mountain long enough. We have toiled this mountain long enough. Forty plus years they spent in the wilderness. It's been over 50 years since we sang that song, We Shall Overcome. Hell, when are we going to overcome? When? That was 50 plus years ago and all we're doing is going around in circles. Going around in circles. You activists out there, you civil rights leaders, all of a sudden Black Panthers and NAACP come out the woodworks. They just came out of nowhere. We don't want justice. We want justice. No justice, no peace. That's all you see. No justice, no peace. Shut up. When there was 60 plus shootings in Chicago a few weeks back, where were you? you nowhere to be found. A few weeks later, it was 47 drive-bys in one weekend. Where were you? Nowhere to be found. When Lil Ray Ray kills little Lukey, where were you? Nowhere to be found. Okay, when a little little girl was shot when she was riding her tricycle in the front yard and stray bullets hit her, where were you? Nowhere to be found. Police beat up on a black man. Oh, no. slavery still exists. Slavery still exists. Oh, shut up. Because I hate to say this, and I know this is going to piss a lot of people off. All the incidents I've seen, all the brothers was resistant, resisting arrests and causing trouble. <laughs> okay? <laughs> hate to tell the truth. Hate to tell the truth. Because I want to debunk that myth as far as being young and black and mistreated. I'm young, black, I drive a brand new BMW and live in the valley. How many encounters have I had with the police? Many. How many times has it got out of control? None. 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 So I want to debunk that myth about us getting mistreated and slavery. Oh, all they know how to do is beat on the black man. Nonsense. Nonsense. Because I had many encounters with the police and I became good friends with them. Tell me how come I could live that life and you can't. Tell me. It's time for us to change as black people. Marching ain't cutting it. All you civil rights leaders, all you jokers out there telling us, oh, we need to do this, we need to do that. We need to change. The book of Deuteronomy, I said again, chapter 2, verse 3, God said, we have toiled this mountain long enough, go northeast. It's time for us to change. Change as black people. I'm not talking about that Obama change because we still waiting for that change. That's a whole nother video, but we still waiting on that. That silly joker ain't said nothing about none of this. It's time for us to change. You civil rights leaders, it's time for you to hear from God and get a revelation. We need to change our sense of direction. Jesus said the blind can't lead the blind because they both going to fall in the ditch. Matthew 15, 15, don't get it twisted. Stop burning down your communities and where you live because you mad at the police. Clean up your own neighborhoods and then they'll clean up theirs. Starts with you 
first. I said that from jump. Reverend Al Sharpton, all you leaders out there, NAACP, let's get it together. Let's get it together because this is embarrassing. The whole country is watching us act like Planets of the Apes, part three. Okay, where's Hollywood when you need it? <laughs> I'm going to be honest and give you the cold facts. Where's Hollywood when you need it? Because there's Planet of the Apes going on right now. Let's get it together, black folks. Let's change our ways. Until this all comes forward, we need to chill and relax. Okay, out here acting stupid and acting like curious George on Red Bulls ain't helping. Ain't helping. I don't support that. I don't support that. My kid looking at TV like, well, what's going on over there? <laughs> what in the world? A girl walking down the street with TVs and underwear on. That was, <laughs> what is that? It's embarrassing as black people. Let's stop marching and let's just change. Okay, that we shall overcome nonsense. Let's get it together. I'm still waiting for us to overcome. Okay, now it's 50 plus years ago. Round and round in circles ain't working anymore. God bless you all. Keep moving forward as a nation, as a people. and that your own lives are unreal. You do whatever the tube tells you. You dress like a tube, you ate like a tube, you raise your children like a tube, you even think like a tube. This is mass madness, you maniacs. In God's name, you people are the real thing. We are the illusion. When we are successful, we will be. We have a real chance at this new world order, an order in which a credible United Nations can use its peacekeeping role to fulfill the promise and vision of the UN's founders. We did set the need for a new world order. But it has different characteristics in different parts of the world. And the president outlined his vision of a new world order in which the US would participate fully, one rooted on four basic principles. None of it is true. The promotion of peace and security. The preservation of our planet and a global economy that advances opportunity for all people. The affirmative task we have now is, uh, is to actually um, uh, create uh, uh, a new world order. A world in which there is the very real prospect of a new world order. It's about the future of Europe and a new world order. After 1989, President Bush kept said, and it's a phrase that I often use myself, that we needed a new world order. If you plan, you can keep your plan. 